In this video, you are going to discover 16 Canva tips and tricks that you probably don't know yet and will help you be more productive and create unique content. In this list of tips and tricks, I'm gonna share new features and also hidden tools. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss any of them. So if you guys are interested in this video, let's go to my computer. Number one. If you didn't know, the templates available in the Canva library are not created only by Canva. There are plenty of Canva creators that also create these templates. And each creator has a profile. I do have a Canva profile because we contribute these templates to the Canva library. You will see that in my case, we publish templates every week and you will see a mix of Canva Pro and Canva free templates. The cool thing about these profiles is that if you really like the work of one of these creators, you can follow them. There is this follow button right here and by clicking it, you will start following the creator. If you follow any of the creators, you will have easy access to their templates. So let me show you how to access these templates. When you are in the Canva homepage, go to the panel on the left side and click templates. From here, you are going to click creators. You follow. In this page, Canva will recommend some other creators that you may like. So you will see all of these creators and you can see more in here. If you want to discover the work of each of these creators, you can click on any of the profiles to view their templates. And of course, if you like what they create, you can follow them. And let me go back to creators you follow because in here you will see all the creators you follow. You can find their profiles in here and you can also see the newest templates or elements that they have published in their profile. If you didn't know, there is a new feature in Canva that allows you to download every single page as a different file. In our channel, we have a couple of videos in which we show you how to bulk create content in Canva. In this case, I have this document open in which I have 52 Instagram Reels, which I created with this bulk create feature. Let me show you. I'm going to open the grid view. These are all the different 52 Instagram Reels that we created. So before we had to download each video or each page one by one, which took a lot of time. But now when we go to share and then click download, we will see this option that says download pages as separate files. This is a Canva Pro feature, so that's why it has this crown. So if you are using a Canva free account, you won't be able to use use this feature. But if you want to try Canva Pro and try this feature out, we have a 45 day free trial in the description of this video. So if you were to check this box, you will be able to download all of these 52 pages as 52 different video files. If that's what you want, click download and Canva will download a zip file which contains the 52 different videos. Or you can also open this drop down menu, deselect all the pages and select only the pages that you want to download. So in this case, I will download only three pages. Click download. This is a file that I just downloaded from Canva. This is a zip file. And when I double click on this file, my computer will automatically create this folder. And when I open the folder, you will see that I have 52 different videos and each of these files are now ready to be used. This new feature is a game changer because it is going to save you a lot of time. This feature is available for Canva Pro users. This will allow you to change your logo on several documents in just a couple of clicks. Let me show you how it works. On the Canva homepage, go to the panel on the left and click on Brand. Select the brand kit that contains the logo that you want to replace. In this case, I'm going to use this brand kit 
and this is the logo that I want to replace. So I'm clicking on these three dots and then replace across these signs. These are the four documents that contain the logo that I want to replace. So I'm selecting these four documents, then click continue. From here, upload the new logo. Select the new logo, click preview. From here, you can preview the designs with the new logo and then click replace in four designs. From here, we have access to the four different documents. So let me quickly open the four documents. We can see the new logo here. Let me go back to the other ones. We see the logo here, the third document with the new logo and the fourth one. I really love this feature because this one really saves you a lot of time, especially if you are working with a lot of different documents. Every Canva user can use the tip that I'm going to show you now and this one will also help you save time while designing. This tip is to add text to line. Here I have this small flowchart and in this case I have these two conditions like should you buy it? Do you need it? Then we have a yes and then go for it. If the answer is no, then don't buy it, right? But what about if I wanted to move the position or the location of this text box, then I will need to move this text box as well. And same goes for this text box right here. So let me show you the trick. I'm going to duplicate this page. This one is really simple. You just need to double click on any line on your design. So let's double click on this line and you will see that automatically you will have this text box and you can start typing on it. You will have access to these toolbars so you can change the color of your text box, change the font, change the size and there you have it. You can now delete this text box because you don't need it. I'm going to delete this one and add a new text box in here. And now every time that I need to reposition my text box, you will see that this text will move along with the line. The next tip is also related to lines because in Canva you can now create elbowed lines. How do they look and how do they work? Let me show you. If you have a line on your design, simply select the line. It can be a simple line like this one or the line can contain text. Let's say that I want to convert this line into an elbowed line. I'm going to select the line and then let's go to the toolbar, select this icon that says line type and then select elbowed. And as you can see, my line now is an elbowed line. And if you want to create more curves on your line, you can simply drag these anchors to the side. You will see that your line will be transformed and you can do it as much as you want. You might already know that you can upload your own files to Canva, like for example, PNG, JPEG, video, and even audio files. But did you know that you can also upload SVG files? And what is it special about them? Let me show you. I'm going to upload and then upload files. I'm going to upload this .svg file that I have here. Let's bring this .svg file to my empty Canva and let me stretch it because this is what I love about these files. These are vector files, meaning that even if you make them really big, you stretch them out, they will never look pixelated. As you can see I'm making this file very very big and still looks very defined. The other aspect about these files that I really really like is that you can change the color to them. You can see that on the toolbar I 
have these two options and if I click on them, I can change the color of my file. I really love working with SVG files in Canva because as you were able to see, you can maintain the quality of your elements and if you need it, you can also change the color to them. And I'm taking logos as an example, but you can also upload shapes or elements or illustrations to Canva. Let's say, for example, I have here this pattern that I downloaded from Plurana and because this one is an SVG file, I can also stretch it out and change the color of these elements. I also have, for example, this flower right here. And if I wanted to use this illustration on any design that I want to publish on my social media, I can use my branded colors so that this illustration fits with the aesthetic of our brand. Let's imagine that you have a PDF that you need to fix. There is one word or maybe just one number that you need to change, but the designer in your team is not available so they cannot fix it. Well, the good news is that you can edit this PDF in Canva completely free. In the Canva homepage, you will see this button that says upload. Click here and upload your PDF by clicking choose file. After a couple of seconds, your PDF will be uploaded to Canva and you will see it here under recent designs. This is the PDF that I just uploaded, so I'm gonna open it by clicking on it. And that's it, you are now inside the editor and you can change the numbers or the words that you need to change. So for example, here to access this text box, I simply double click and start editing the numbers or let's say that the name is not correct here and it's supposed to be just Anna. And that's it. If you want to download this design again as a PDF, click share, download, in file type select PDF. You can either select PDF standard if you want to share this file online or PDF print if you are planning on printing this PDF and then click download. Remember that this feature is completely free to use and all of the features that are coming up are free as well. I know many of you use Canva to create presentations, but there is one feature that I believe is missing and I have a simple trick for you. Sometimes when I am presenting and I have a list of different items like the ones we see on this slide for different items, I would like them to appear as I am talking about them. And I have a simple trick that can help you. I have this page right here, I'm previewing this thumbnails with this view so if you don't see it and you see your page like this you can click on this arrow pointing up to preview this thumbnails. This is going to help you out with this trick. Now I have this slide with the four different items. We are going to start with this version right here. I'm going to select the last item which is these three text boxes and I'm going to animate it. So click animate and then you can select any of these animations. I'm going for pan and selecting only on enter. Now go to this thumbnail, click on the three dots and duplicate page. Now instead of working on page three, we are going to work on page two. Let's delete the last item and select the previous one. Let's add the same animation only on enter and let's do the same steps for the last items. So duplicate the page, work on page two, delete this item, select item number two in this case, animate selecting pan on enter and duplicate page, work on page number two, delete this item and finally adding the animation on the first item only on enter and now let me show you how this presentation is going to look i have my clicker here and as i am speaking we can see only the first item appearing when i finish talking about this item i can click and then we can see item number two and like this I can have more control on what appears on my presentation. 
The next four tips are also related to presentations and this one I actually really like because it can make your presentations more entertaining and dynamic. So pay attention because I have a couple of magic shortcuts that are going to make a difference in your presentations. You can press the letter B if you want to blur the current slide. So I'm pressing B, pay attention to what happens on the screen. This can help you out if you want people to focus on what you are talking about and not the slide. You can also press the letter C to have a confetti rain like the one that you just saw. If you want people to get excited about an special announcement that you are going to make, press the letter D for a drum roll animation. You can press the letter M for a mic drop animation. O for floating bubbles. Q for quiet. U for a curtain call animation. U again to open the curtain. And you can also press shift plus slash or shift and question mark on your keyboard to open the magic shortcuts menu, which are all the shortcuts that I just showed you. And talking about presentations, there is a tool that I love to use when I'm presenting and it is the timer. So every time that you press any number from 0 to 9, a timer will appear on the screen. So let me press the number 3. This will add a timer of 3 minutes and you can start the timer at any time by clicking on the play icon. You can reset the timer, add more or less minutes. And the next tip is related to this timer because you can add music to the timer. So when you hover on top of the timer, you will see this menu on top. And when you click on this music icon, you can select any of this music. So either focus, dramatic, a bit energetic or simply no music at all, which is the default option. Next to it, you have the volume and the minimize timer option. If you want to hear these music options that you have in here, select any of them and then hit the play icon. If you use presentations a lot in Canva, this tip is for you. Not many people know, but you can use your phone as a remote control to change the slides on your Canva presentations. Open your presentation document and then hit the present button on top of the screen. Then click on this other present button, click on these three dots at the bottom of the screen and then click share remote control. Now you can scan this code or copy this link to use another device as a remote controller. I'm going to scan the code with my phone. And now, as you can see, I have these arrows on my phone. And when I click on the arrow to the right, I start to change my slides. Or if I want to go back, I simply click on the arrow to the left. The cool thing here is that you also have access to the magic shortcuts on top of the screen of your phone and if you click on these icons you will have access to these shortcuts. If you didn't know, your team can collaborate in real time across any document in Canva. Once in your document, click share on top of the screen. And from here, you are able to generate collaboration links. If you click only you can access, of course, only you will have access to this document. So you need to open this drop down, And from here, you can either select any from this team. Our team is called Team Rondi. So anyone from Team Rondi can access the design using this link. And then you can also make this link available for people just to view it, to comment or to edit. If you want people in your team to be able to collaborate in this document, make sure to select can edit and then copy link and share it with your team. If you want another person that is 
not in your team to be able to collaborate, open again this drop down and this time select anyone with the link. In here it says anyone can access the design using this link, no signing required. So click here and of course you can change these options so anyone can view, comment or edit and then copy the link. When you share this link and somebody joins the document, you will be able to see it because on top of the screen you will see that the person joining the document appears. Something interesting in here is that you can also view where the person is located. In this case, my team member or <laughs> Ronnie is located in page number one because I can see his face in here so I can go to page one and I can see in real time what he's doing or which element he is selecting. If he changes pages I can also see it on the document and the same way goes for him. He can see where I am located and he can even see where my mouse is moving and he can see the changes that I'm doing to the document. I'm about to show you a feature that I personally really love because this really helps you be more creative with the animations that you create in Canva. This one is also free and pretty easy to use. I have here this design. I have a background image and two different elements. I want my bunny to jump from one place to another and I want it to be very precise. So I want the bunny to jump two, three times and then to end on top of this trunk. I'm going to select the element, go to animate and then select this button that says create an animation. Now the only thing that I need to do is to drag my element around the canvas to create the animation. So I'm going to make my bunny jump three times, one, two, three and then ending up on top of the trunk. You can leave the animation as it is or you can adjust it. You have movement styles so you can leave in the original that you just created. You can make the movement smooth or you can make it steady. I usually go for the steady movement style. You can also activate the orient element to path. This one won't work all the times. It depends on the element that you are animating, but as you can see, in this case, it doesn't look great. So I'm going to leave it as it is, deactivate it. And then you can also adjust the speed of your animation. Once you are done, click done and your custom animation is ready. And talking about animations, there is something new called motion effects in Canva. I want to add some movement to the sun, but I don't want to add a custom animation. I just want it to have some movement and I can do it with this motion effect. I'm going to select the sun, go to animate and right below you will see the motion effects. We have these four motion effects, which are free to use. We have the rotate motion, pay attention to the sun, not to the bunny. We have flicker, pulse and wiggle. What is special about these motion effects is when you apply it to an element on your video or your animation, this element will have motion for the entire length of the animation. So I'm going to select rotate and for the entire 4.7 seconds that I'm playing this video, the sun will move. And something else that I want to mention here is that you can use the motion effects for free, but if you have a Canva Pro account, you will have access to these extra settings. So in this case, if you were to have a Canva Pro account, you can increase the speed of the motion or you can change the direction. You will see different settings depending on the animation or the motion that you select, but I wanted to let you know that if you have a Canva Pro account, you will have some extra settings that you can adjust. 
The last trick is also related to movement, to animations, but also related to Canva websites. If you didn't know, we can create websites for free in Canva. And the new thing is that we can add simple animations to them. So here I have my Canva website document open. This website is already published. So if I want to edit anything in here, I need to first click edit design. Now, if you want to add animations to any website, you can select the page or the section of the website that you want to add animations to. And then on the toolbar on top, you will see the animate button. From here, you have access to the basic page animations. And if you want to add an animation to a particular element on the screen, you can also select the element and add the animation to that element. So I already tested these animations before filming this video because I wanted to make sure that everything that I'm mentioning here works. So I selected these four buttons and I added the pan animation. But let me try another animation to my name. So let me try why not this breathe animation and I also added some animations to this button. I have added the same animation to all the buttons on my website just to make it look more cohesive and I think I am ready. I'm going to publish this website to show you how it looks. On top of the screen you will see this button that says publish website. Click continue and then click publish and the website with the animations is ready but before let me quickly show you how the website used to look like. It looks nice, I really like it, but it is static. It doesn't have any movement at all. Now let me show you how the website looks like with the animations. So pay attention to the buttons and to my name. So we see the buttons sliding and the breathing effect on my name. And when I scroll down, pay attention to the buttons. If you want to discover more tips and tricks, make sure to watch this playlist right here. And here's the link to our Canva Pro 45 day free trial. I think this is it for now. So I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye.